Hi everyone and welcome back to Willy and Olia's channel. Today we are going to record a video in William's office. I want to invite you to watch till the end and subscribe to our channel so you do not miss any new videos. So let's get started. Hello my fellow Ohioans. I'm William Diaz Jr. or Sergeant Diaz and I am at Converse Hall today at The Ohio State University and this is where I've been recruiting for the past two years. A roster to contact the different organizations in this building. My number, Army National Guard, is here. Where's the Army Reserves? Yikes! Commerce Hall is uh, has three ROTC departments. They have the Navy, which is on the first floor, the Army on the second floor, and the Air Force on the third floor. So welcome to Army ROTC and my National Guard office. Over here we have the classes and the lounges where all the cadets, they study, they do their labs, they have meetings. ROTC is an elective. If you are a student in the ROTC program, you that is all you are. You're just a student taking a military science elective. Um, your junior year, you have an opportunity to contract and actually become a true cadet. Up until then, you have three requirements. You do a, a lecture a week. You do PT in the morning on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Wait, no, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And PT set for physical training. And then on Tuesdays, that's what I meant to say, on Tuesdays they have a lab that they do early in the morning. A lot of the stuff is early in the morning so they don't want the schedule to interfere with your classes during the week. Okay, so this is the trophy room. One of my favorite parts about the trophy room is this wonderful thing here. That's the flag they used to raise up to for all the OSU football games. And here, pretty cool things in here. So this is the conference room where a lot of the meetings happen with the cadets and the cadre when the cadets get boarded, when they're preparing to do things for the program throughout the semester. And this picture here has a little bit of cool connections with Woody Hayes. So. Um, this is General George S. Patton, and it was presented to Coach Woody Hayes at Lima, Ohio, December of 1983. The person who told me about this said that there's a couple of these paintings that exist right now, and one of them was given to him, so it's pretty cool, and he donated it to the ROTC program. Bam! Welcome to my office. This is where I've been for the past two years, recruiting the great civilians for the Ohio Army National Guard. This is my desk, my flag for the engineers. This is Sergeant Owens. Hi, how are you doing? And this is my favorite part, is my board of all the recruits I've enlisted. Well, most of the people I've enlisted since the COVID-19 pandemic, I haven't been able to update it, but there's like 20 more pictures to add of the recruits I've enlisted. Um, I'm very passionate about recruiting. I was able to help them get their tuition paid for in these universities. And I was just able to help them fulfill their dreams. Um, so my wonderful wife, Olia, wanted to meet me here today and talk about my career as a recruiter and talk a little bit about ROTC. So um, I will start off by saying that I became a recruiter in 2018 March. That when, that's when I joined the recruiting and retention battalion for uh, the Ohio Army National Guard. Uh, a couple months later in May, <clears throat> went to recruiting school, graduated, and recruiting school was in North Little Rock, Arkansas. It was pretty cool. Went to recruiting school, came back, and I was supposed to be recruiting at the southeast portion of Columbus, and um, a job posting came up for a recruiter on campus at The Ohio State University for the ROTC program specifically. And I remember I didn't apply for the job, I was nowhere qualified for it on paper, and. Really, I wasn't qualified. I, I just got out of recruiting school. Um, I was at a football boot camp with all these other recruiters and we we're getting ready to train football players, teach them the army values, and just kind of motivate them and build their morale. And I remember I had my government phone and earlier in the boot camp, one of the uh, my team leader, Sergeant Wells, like, hey, you ready to uh, be the recruiter for the Ohio State University? I'm like, no, what are you talking about, Sergeant? And he kind of told me, yeah, they were talking about it a little bit. I don't know if it's official yet or not. And then 
10 minutes later, my, my phone dings, and everybody's phone is dinging during the football game, and I see the email, and it says, congratulations to Sergeant Diaz for being the, selected as the new on-campus recruiter for The Ohio State University, ROTC. And I'm like, whoa, what? What is going on? And it was pretty cool. I got a phone call from the team leader, Sergeant Cockrell, who's in charge of ROTC, and he told me, you understand this isn't a joke, right? Like, you are now the recruiter there, and you will, uh, you, there's a lot you're going to have to learn, and there's uh, big shoes to fill. So he, um, yeah, that was really my intro here. And that was in May of 2000, that was June of 2018. Two years later, I've recruited 59 people here. Uh, I recruited 59 civilians to become uh, soldiers. Many of them have already graduated basic training. Uh, most of them are on track to become officers through the ROTC department. Um, Hijazine got her bachelor's degree and she was able to submit them to us and we were actually able to uh, promote her. So now she is specialist Hijazine. <laughs> and then let's just at, throw this in there for the, for the quick video. She graduated from The Ohio State University. Are you recording, right? And she's part of the National Guard. Hua. Love it. Hua. All right. This is my story. I'm proud to be a recruiter. I'm proud to lead civilians to their careers, help them pay for school and help them serve. The, the one thing I always had in my mind is that if you want to go to school, everybody would love to get school paid for, right? The military might not be for everybody, but if you're going to go to school and you've always wanted to serve your country, the National Guard is the best way to start your military career because you get to go to school for free. You know, for the most part, we pay 100% of tuition. If you got lab fees or you got room and board stuff, that's not on us. But we pay 100% of tuition, which is usually the big chunk of college. And if you want to serve your country, maybe school's not for you, then you can volunteer for a deployment. Guard's always deploying. You can stay here in Ohio. You can do a natural disaster, a peace mission. You can go overseas and um, fight the war on terror. There's so many different avenues. You can build a career as a recruiter. You can build a career as an instructor and teach people the job that you do. Like, for example, I did 12 November construction engineer and there could be an opportunity in my life where maybe I can become an instructor and teach others how to do that job. So it's a great career. And this concludes my tour of Converse Hall at The Ohio State University. I want to take this time to thank all of the cadre for the training, the mentorship and the instruction they gave me in becoming a better NCO. I want to thank the cadets for all the experiences that I've had with them when it came to training and basketball tournaments and PT from morning basketball to the tournament in Notre Dame and going in the Chinooks and the Blackhawks with them and uh, the enlistments. The, it was just, there's a, there was a lot that happened throughout the year. A lot of hours put into this job and I'm just extremely grateful for the opportunity I was given here. And I look forward to the many more I'm gonna have with the Ohio Army National Guard. Hua. Hua.